For me, my top tip throughout VCE is just maintaining consistent workload. Because um, I met a lot of people through VCE who wouldn't put in as much work at the start of the year and then closer to exams, they'd work a lot harder. Whereas for me, I found it a lot easier. And this was, this was after experimenting a bit in year 11. Uh, get on top of it early. Um, don't be afraid to ask your teachers because they're always there to help. And just find what works for you and stick with that. I think for me, what I learnt was compromise, the ability to compromise, I think that's really important and acknowledge that sometimes you're not going to be able to get four hours of study done and you know you don't have to have a brain aneurysm and freak out like I did. It's okay and that you can still get the marks that you want even if you don't do everything according to your perfectly routine plan. I think for, for people studying VCE this year or in the years to come it's probably very important to not get too caught up in just, just studying 24-7 I suppose, you've got to sort of keep going out with your friends and having a good time with all your mates and as well as yeah, relaxing and making sure you don't get too caught up in, in the stresses of all the assessments and the exams and stuff like that. Year 12 I think it's important to view it as a marathon, it's not like a sprint, it's, it's a hard year, like it's a long time, it's like 10 months or something and you've got, you've got to be able to sustain it and it's more important to be consistent rather than be like super enthusiastic and chain yourself to your desk for the first term because that won't work. I think what helped me definitely through VCE is just trying to find some sort of passion or love in every subject that you do because if you find something that just makes you want to stay up all night and study it, not only is it going to make you want to work harder at the subject but it's going to I guess give you a bit more perspective and it kind of reminds you that VC is so much more than the end result, that ATAR that comes out. Set your standards high. Don't worry if, you're, if you think you don't have the ability or you think if your school isn't up to scratch or if your mates um, aren't working as hard or don't expect you to do as well as you could. Don't, don't listen to any of that. Just listen to what you want and set your standards to what you think is right and go for it.